Hi guys, it's Bitty Bum Boutique TV again, and today I'm going to show you how to make corker ribbon. So this is a bow that I've made. This is called a corker bow, um, and so you might wonder how you get this fun um, curly ribbon. It's very easy, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you're going to need some clothespins. You're going to need a wooden dowel. This one is um, a quarter inch diameter. That's what works the best to give the um, curl the best. And then um, I have, this one is half a yard long. Um, and I know how much ribbon, I, how many of these I need to make per bow. So that's just the measurements that I use. So you could do a longer one, but it is going to go in your oven, so you don't want them to be too long. So half a yard is a good length when you buy them. Just cut them. I think it, I just cut them in half from what I bought them as. So what you're going to do, and here's some strings of corker ribbon already made, fun pink colors. You can do all kinds of bows with these. You can make bows like this. This is a corker bow. This is I think my medium size one, um, just on an alligator pinch. Um, I make pony streamers, so you just attach it, you know, to a ponytail holder. Um, there's lots of fun things you can do with cork ribbon. These are this ribbon, this one right here. These two pink ones are made with um, a fourth inch ribbon, which makes a good curl. Um, but I also do the three eighths inch ribbon, um, which is what I'm going to show you today. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your wooden dowel and your ribbon, and um, I don't cut my ribbon before; I just leave it on the spool. And you're going to kind of put it on there at an angle. Take your clothespin and clip it. Okay, and that doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to end up cutting the very tip off anyways. So then all you do is, um, you know, you probably will go slow in the beginning, but once you get used to it, you can go kind of fast. And you're just going to I hold the ribbon with my right hand. I'm a right hand. I'm right-handed, so I hold the ribbon tight. You're kind of pulling it tight so it's not wrinkled or loose. Um, with my right hand and then with my left hand I'm actually spinning the dowel. So I'm not wrapping the ribbon, I'm spinning the wooden dowel and then it's make you know it's making the ribbon go around and then just make sure you keep it tight. I like to have mine you know I don't really like a space. I'm a perfectionist. I don't want a space in between um, my curls. Some people say it doesn't matter so it's just up to you how you want to do it. So you just um, go around. You don't, though, want to overlap. You do not want to overlap the ribbon, um, or it just won't turn out right when you curl it. So you just keep going. And like if you do, like I'll show you, like if you leave a gap like that, if you're going too fast and you start getting gaps, you can just kind of loosen it a little and push it up and then pull tight. Um, and it'll go back you know, together. So just go all the way to the end. It's not really, it's very easy. And like I said, once you get started, um, once you've practiced, you'll be like, oh, that's all I had to do. So I'm gonna... now for the bow I'm going to be using this for, I'm making a large corker bow, and I do four dowels, so four half of a yard dowels, so two yards total, of ribbon. That's how much I curl to make one large corker bow. So then you've got the end, just make sure with your thumb you're holding it tight because you don't want to, if you let go, it's all going to spin off and then you got to start all over. So then I just, you just clip the other end and voila, you have one strand of corker ribbon. Now what you have to do is put your oven, I usually put my oven on like between between 250 and 350, I just kind of turn it on, whatever it lands on, I leave it. Um, and then you can put it on a cookie sheet or on aluminum foil, sometimes I actually just stick it right in there. Um, but you're going to put it in the oven, you don't have to spray it, nothing, just like this, put it in the oven for like 20 to 30 minutes. 20 minutes is fine. If you leave it a little over, it's not a big deal. Um, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. 
you pull it out, let it cool till you can touch it, and then it just curls and then it looks like this. And that's it. So I'll do a video on how to actually make a bow another time, but I just wanted to let you know how to make the ribbon first. So thanks for watching. See you next time.